In this video, we will cover some of the functions of the designer and the material editor. You can use the designer to create simple tile patterns or tile mixes at a certain percentage. The tile patterns you can create include a basket weave pattern or a checkerboard pattern. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to click on the material editor and click on create new and simple tile. Set the size of the tile. And this will be our checkerboard. I'll select a color. And click on designer. The way that the designer works is that you have your tile or block of created tiles and then a repeater. So the repeater will take the one tile or many tiles and repeat the entire sequence wherever these hatch tiles are placed. So if I would like to shift these over to create an ashlar pattern, I can do that. And you can see down here on the right hand side that will shift the repeating tile over half a tile creating an ashlar. You can also add tiles. So I'll come up here to add and change this on the bottom to two feet. And I'm just going to do one tile because this is just a basic checkerboard pattern. And I'll double click on this tile and select a new color. Now I'm going to move my repeater over to create that checkerboard effect. You can also add tiles of different sizes. So I can say add, and let's create four foot by one foot tile. And I'll pick a new color for that tile. Move my repeaters. When I'm moving these repeaters, I like to come out so I can see space around the tile block and then move in to touch these up. The reason I like to do it that way is that it can happen that you overlap tiles and then you will get a doubling of quantities. So if you're building patterns in the designer and you notice that your waste factor is 50% or more, you probably have your tile grid overlapped in the designer and you need to check that by moving these tiles out so that you can see space and then touching them up. Otherwise you could end up with an overlap. The next type we can look at is a mixed percentage of products. So again, I'll go create new, simple tile, set the size, pick a new color, and go into designer. So for the mixed percentage, you will have to create enough tiles so that one tile is the percentage of the accent color that you want to mix. So if I have a 50% mix, then one tile out of two tiles will be 50%. I'll just add one and change the color. Now if I add another tile, then each tile will be 33%. Four tiles, each tile will be 25%, five tiles, each tile will be 20%, and so on. So let's create a few more. Let's do three more so that I have five tiles. Now each tile is 20%, so I'll do two 20% accents and 60% for the field. And I'm just going to check this randomized colors box. That will spread out these accents throughout the room. And I'll place the material in the room and requantify. And you can see if you want a different layout, you can just double click a wall, select no, and requantify, and it'll give you a slightly different mix. 
One last tile pattern is the basket weave pattern. So to create a basket weave, I will once again go to create new and simple tile. And this time we'll do a three foot by one foot. Select a new color and designer. And I want to get a total of six tiles here for my full basket weave. So I'm going to add two uh, to this horizontal tile. Add two. And again, it's these numbers on the bottom that matter, not the numbers on the top. I'll move these into position under and then add a few vertical tiles. So I'll just switch these and I'll add three. This gives me the basics for my basket weave. Now I just have to move my repeaters into place. Again, I'm keeping a nice wide area around here so I can see if I start to get overlapped. And there's your basket weave pattern. So that's it for designer. If you have any questions or want to know if you can create a tile pattern in the designer, please post in the comments. And the next video will cover some designs that you can create with script. And thanks for watching.